A lot of jobs require Microsoft Excel skills, and companies would like to make sure that candidate possesses all required skills to be successful in the job. In this video, we're going to look at Excel interview and assessment test questions and answers. As part of Excel portion of the interview process, companies are trying to validate to make sure candidates have the right skills and are capable to performing tasks in Microsoft Excel. In this video, I'll show you how to answer one of the typical questions asked as part of this job interview. Please create unique role ID for each role so you will be ready for executive presentation. Creating unique ID is necessary so you can identify each role uniquely for executive team. Companies present candidates with spreadsheet. A lot of times they send spreadsheet via email. The spreadsheet will contain a lot of different questions that you would need as a candidate to answer in predefined period of time. Today companies would like to make sure that candidates don't just know how to answer questions, but also have hands-on experience with Microsoft Excel. Excel document I will be using here consists of multiple tabs. I have one tab where just the background and Excel interview questions are presented. There's another tab where I will have answered questions. And that would be very useful for you if you need to download this file to follow along or get practice or get ready yourself. Then there is a sales uh, tab which contains sales data that will be used to complete this assignment. And also some other tabs that might be helpful for you if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Excel or Excel assessment test. To download this file, make sure you check out the description of this video. Typically, when companies present candidates with the Excel document, they provide some background. So let's look at the background we have in this document. Cataloria Inc. is a manufacturing company headquartered in the United States, which has plants in the US, Germany, China, India, and Japan. Currently, it manufactures all products at all facilities and only sells at the countries where products are manufactured. Now let's look at the first question. Can you describe data in the sales tab? What does the data show? So to do that, you have to look in the sales tab, right? We have multiple tabs and the sales tab is right here. So let's quickly look at the data. Um, I'm trying to fit everything into one screen, but obviously you will be able to zoom in and zoom out to get closer to particular column as you wish. To do that, make sure to download the file to follow along. As the name of the tab implies, this is the sales data. Each line item here is a unique transaction. This is a sales transaction, most likely, and uh, it shows the date when transaction occurred, shows the country, uh, shows manufacturing cost, sale price, right? It shows uh, gross sales. When you multiply units sold by the sale price, you will get to the gross sales. So, but here it's not a calculated value. Everything here are just the values. Then we have discounts column. Then we have sales, which as I can see match gross sales. Uh, COGS stands for cost of goods sold, and then it shows the profit. So profit is typically calculated when you subtract sales uh, and you subtract cost of goods sold, uh, then you get the profit number. So this is how your first answer might look like uh, for the first question. Tab sales displays sales transactions. For each transaction, there is a profit calculation since manufacturing cost data and cost of goods sold data is available. I would like to give you a tip. As you can see, I didn't spend a lot of time answering this particular question. I did this on purpose. There are a lot of questions as part of this assessment test. I would like to make sure I cover all of them as quickly as possible. And I don't want to spend too much time on each individual question. I would recommend you use Pareto rule spend 20% of the time to get 80% of the results and move on to the next question. This will help you successfully complete the test. The key is to complete the test before the deadline as most likely deadline is not gonna be extended. And if you have as much as possible ready at the end of the test, it will present you as a professional. Let's move on to the question two. Add unique ID to each row, which could be used to uniquely identify the row as part of the presentation. The easiest way to add a unique ID, I'm going to show you in a second. To do that, we would need to insert another column here. So I just clicked on the column A and click insert. We'll call it unique ID. You see the style is different from other columns here. So what we can do, we can reapply the style so it looks professional. We just use Format Painter and reapply the style here. 
and we will start with unique ID one. And then for the next unique ID, we will just use equals cell A2 plus one. And then what we can do, we can spread out and extend this calculation in this formula to the rest of the values. But let me show you what's happening here. This spreadsheet has a lot of data, and this is typically what you are presented with. So if I just going to do it as by scrolling, I'm not going to be very efficient here. So what I need to do, I need to understand some key Excel keyboard shortcuts. So let me show you two that we will be using here. So the first shortcut is control arrow down. And uh, to take advantage of this shortcut, I'm just going to put my cursor in the column B and press control arrow down. And you see my last row here is 702, which will take quite a bit of scrolling, but still not bad. But what I've seen from my students, the tests that they're taking is they had 95,000 rows or 105,000 rows. So this has become extremely useful and instrumental. And what I would recommend you do is uh, you capture this number 702 and I'll show you why and why is it useful. So control arrow down ultimately takes you to the last row which contains data. Now to get back to the top, you need to press control arrow up, right? And it takes us to the first row. So how can you insert and replicate this formula for the rest of the cells in this column A? Let me delete values in columns four through 11. I'm just gonna select them and click the delete button because I only need formula just once and then I can replicate it. What I need to do, I need to then select rows from four and I'm using this unique row identifier here until uh, the end of this and then I can reapply the formula. So I need to select the formula first and then I need to copy the formula. So which copies the formula value. Next step, I put the cursor into the next column, which extends the values up to the end. Then I use control arrow down shortcut. Then I move cursor back into the column A and then I hold the shift button, control button and press arrow up button. And that selects everything. And I only need selection up to here. And then I can paste the formula into that selected range between rows four and 702. And you see this is done. And now we have unique IDs here in this uh, column A. We can go back to our tab and mark this assignment as complete. A lot of students ask me, how does Excel assessment test work nowadays? What I see happening recently is that companies schedule pretty fine block of time with you. During that time, they send you an email with Microsoft Excel file. Excel file has questions and raw data. And you asked within certain pretty fine time period to complete all the answers and email file back to them. Let's go to the next question. And next question is really a variation of this unique ID question. And that's uh, true for all the remaining questions here. So a lot of times companies don't ask this easy question, right? Because that's the easiest calculation. They try to test not just your skills and the basic knowledge of Excel, but they also want to know more advanced skills that you might possess. So variation of this question might sound like, how would you create unique ID as a unique random six digit number? To do that, let's create another column here in this spreadsheet. And to complete this assignment, I will be using rand between function which basically provides you the random number in between certain range of numbers, right? So since we need six digit number, we would need to start with 100,000 and our end value for that range would be 999999. So this is how the value looks like uh, and this is how the function implemented looks like and it generates random number. So I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did for unique ID because this is just the replication of the formula. The only difference, I'll not start with the row three or row four, I should say, but I'll start with the row three. Copy. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to copy this uh, formula. I'm going to the uh, next column, go to the end of the document, control arrow down. I'm going to go back to column A now and then control shift arrow up. And I'm going to use paste and it will populate column A with the random numbers. The trick here is that um, the first assignment that we did, it does have the pre-calculated number and it doesn't change unless there are some uh, reshuffling in those rows. 
here it regenerates random number every time so what might be useful is to copy this whole column and paste it as a values in excel let me demonstrate what i mean every time i refresh like i click here it recalculates the formula and it will take probably a lot longer if you're trying to do it uh, on the large spreadsheet that you might be provided with hundred thousand rows so first let's populate this column id uh, and we will give it name unique uh, six digit id i'm going to expand it a little bit then what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this. I selected the whole uh, column and I'm going to click copy. Then I'm going to insert, I'm going to unselect it now. I'm going to insert a new column here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to copy it again. And I'm going to paste uh, and paste as values. So you see it matches the, the previous selection, but it already recalculated it and i just need to delete this column and this would be fixed set of numbers you see this are the fixed numbers but for those students interested in downloading the file and playing with the uh, file themselves i'm go going to keep the column uh, where formula is actually used so you can see uh, and practice with the file let's go back to our practice sheet with the questions and we can mark question three as complete I would like to give you a tip. A lot of times, companies would like to see how candidate works under pressure. The best way to do it is to give you more questions than you can possibly answer during this pretty fine block of time. This is especially helpful for the companies because they would like to know how well you will handle stress during the project work. My recommendation is don't get disappointed. Just be prepared that this is a possibility. Keep working on the questions and answer as many of them as possible so you will show yourself as a professional ready for the project work as part of the interview. Now let's look at another variation of this question. Um, let's look at item number four. Uh, so create unique ID using below guidelines and let's me scroll down a little bit so we'll see the whole guidelines. This is the unique number and I'm going to highlight this unique number that we're looking to do and it consists of four blocks separated by hyphen dash whatever the symbol you'd like to use and each item here has a meaning for example cnt stands for country of sales cur stands for currency prn stands for product name and then three x's uh, stand for unique identifier to complete this assignment let's uh, insert another column here and let's look at how we can do it so for country, we can either use uh, the couple letters from the country name. This is the source country, or we could use a currency. Uh, but I think we have a separate one for currency, so we can't use currency because we need currency would be another block. So uh, which means that we should use um, formula, which would concatenate first letters from the country column. Then it would add the three letters. Currency is already three letters for currency then we will look at the three first letters of the product name so this is the product column and then we will end this let's go back and look with the three digit a randomly generated uh, unique id so that's how we will do it and to complete this assignment we'll use left function uh, in microsoft excel as you can look in the syntax left function allows you to supply the text from the particular cell and then number of characters in our case we will need three characters so let's go ahead and get it done so this is how completed uh, formula looks like we basically concatenating the uh, left value from the cell f2 which is the country uh, then uh, adding concatenation of the currency which is already three characters then we adding concatenation from the product name um, Cantaloria, uh, and then the last thing we use rand in between which we used as part of previous exercise and we use different range we use the range for three digit uh, numbers between 100 and 9999 and then the last step we need to just replicate this uh, number and for that we will just use the same sequence of uh, keyboard shortcuts we used for the previous exercise if you would like to take a shortcut to get ready for interview or Excel assessment test, make sure to check out my ebook store to get ready. 
And as a last step, we can copy this formula as it's being asked in the assignment. We just select it, click copy, uh, paste it into this tab. And then the only thing we will change, so it's not using calculations, we will put ampersand before of it to make it uh, as a string. So it saves it as a string. We will use a uh, wrap text here and uh, we will also highlight this entire cell's background uh, as green to mark it as complete. I wanted to mention that we recently added few new items in our merchandise store, so please make sure to check them out. Thank you for your support. And then last but not least variation that I've seen few times being used, not very frequently, but few times, is uh, create random unique ID as GUID, which, is, which stands for Global Unique Identifier. It's a unique number that consists of five groups of hexadecimal numbers separated by hyphens. And, and this is the example of uh, GUID. So how would you do it? To do that, as usual, we'll just insert a new column and we'll call it GUID uh, for the GUID value. And to create such a, a value, we'll be using function dec 2 hex which converts decimal numbers that we'll be generating randomly using our famous uh, rand between function. Uh, and convert them to hexadecimal numbers. And this is the syntax uh, here on the screen for this function. This is how the function looks like. We ultimately concatenate dex to hex randomly selected numbers and uh, we decide how many numbers do we need uh, based on the GUID group. So let's look back here. I'm just going to show you that it works and it generates this random number but if you look at the question we have groups of different length uh, as part of GUID. If you look at the format of GUID then it has a different length uh, of hexadecimal digits. We have 8, 4, 4, 4 and 12 and this is the really the format of the GUID number. So going back to our formula we randomly generate 8, 4, 4, 4 and then 12 hexadecimal numbers. And that's really uh, the formula to create GUID. And then the last step, obviously, is to replicate this value for the rest of the rows. So it populates the entire spreadsheet. And since we have completed this assignment, now we can copy this formula and paste it into our cell, indicating completion. This is the entire formula here. And obviously, we would want to mark it as string, not as dynamically calculated formula and uh, wrap the text so it all shows up here and we can mark it as green to indicate that it, it's complete if you like the content please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends also there's tons of information in the description of this video make sure to check it out make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my youtube channel we have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and i don't want you to miss any of it and if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out make sure to subscribe to my email list as well all links are here on the screen make sure to click to stay in touch thanks again for watching